All right. We're here with a uh, the new season of League, Season 64. First game of the season. I'm back in C Division. I'm in the C1 group. A few familiar faces in here. A few new ones. Uh, so this is against Swordfish Trombone, who I've played, I think, once before. I don't remember much about the score, so I imagine it was pretty even. But they're a good player. I know they play a lot of ladder. So we'll see how it goes. So we got, I immediately see I got Necropolis way of the Squirrel, which unfortunately I don't see turn one. Um, what do we have here? Fellowship of Scribes. If you have four fewer cards in hand, you may spend a favor plus one card. Okay, so you got Monger, you got Sea Witch, you've got Secluded Shrine for trashing. Oh, they opened Buried Treasure. Okay, great. That's not good at all. Prepare. Druid Boons are kind of awful here. Yeah. Um, so your only village here is Ironmonger and Prepare. You got Plus Buy and Abundance and Buried Treasure and Druid if you want it. Fellowship of Sc like Underling Scribes can kind of work. It's a bit... I don't think it's... Other than Druid, I don't think... I guess in Shrine, there's nothing really that's giving you card negative as an action, so you're probably not playing with Scribes too much. Um, I guess you do have Squirrel. I think I think a Secluded Shrine is probably a good open here. I'm probably going to take a few Buried Treasures, take an Abundance or two, it seems not bad. Open like Shrine Monger. Get some trashing in fast because they're gonna they're, they're opening very treasure sea witch which is very sad for me like it's really bad that's a that's a really nice open here five two is huge here I, I can't see them not taking a sea witch here honestly yeah, treasures are pretty good. Buried treasure is just a good card. Yep. Yeah, it's not it's not looking good already. This is in. Um, I could trigger this shuffle here. Try to hit five for a sea witch. I have five cards down there, so I'm gonna trigger the shuffle again. I could. Oh. Do I go for that? I think I do. Yeah, take the sea witch here turn two as well and then here I get shrine I can bury treasure with my hovel and my overgrown okay I've got a sea witch down there and my necropolis take a buried treasure here it's included shrine both of these oh my sea witch okay at least I see it again Definitely need some mongers. Preparing everything, including your sea witch, is a fairly wise choice. More buried treasure makes sense to me. Do I play this necropolis normally or do I prepare it? So I'd have a bunch of coppers down there in my secluded shrine, right? So I'm gonna draw at least one of them. I have at least seven here if I want to do like Ironmonger prepare. Yeah, which I'm going to do exactly that. This is an interesting board. Definitely want a second Sea Witch here. I just feel behind because of the opening, but also not super far behind. Okay, they take a shrine now. Then the sea witch, discard. Um, I think I discard here. I just take another sea witch. I play the shrine normally, and I squirrel the necropolis. I take a sea witch here. 
and I don't worry too much about getting the shrine off right yet. Yeah, that sure is expected. Nine money, oh man, they've got so many sea witches. I would keep you, thank you. Um, do I have another two money down there? I think I do. I think I might as well play this Necropolis just in case I have. Okay. Bury treasure me. Secluded shrine. Goodbye two curses. Okay. Okay, my deck's not that bad anymore. Just played two Sea Witches at once. I don't have any in my deck at the moment. But that's okay. Like, once the curses run, the Sea Witches aren't nearly as powerful. And, like, losing the, the curse split 7 3 here is not that bad overall. That's a lot of preparing. Um. What do I want to do here? I'm going to draw two more cards here. I think I'll probably just discard two coppers and then decide then. Yeah, I got the shrine here again. So I can trash it again. Maybe I discard the Necropolis. Or maybe I prepare. Definitely want another buried treasure here. Definitely want to play the secluded shrine and trash a copper and a curse. I think the Necropolis is just like not very useful. This is probably the play here. This can be like buried treasure, trash some garbage, and then take another monger. Yeah. Uh huh. Definitely feel very behind. My deck is not bad from what it could be, considering they have four sea witches. Yeah, okay, so curses are done. So playing sea witches are no longer my number one priority. They're basically like terminal dungeons that draw. Which is, they're good, they're not bad in my deck, but I'm not like super excited over them. Yeah, I will keep this though because, I mean, just, I think I have to play the shrine here. I could prepare things here. Um, or I could take a buried treasure and trash two coppers, which just feels better to me. But yeah, their deck is off to the races here. I have trashed a lot more than them, but I've needed to trash a lot more than them. They still, they still have their, their starting shelters. But this game isn't over, you never know. Sure, you wanna play your Ironmonger normally? Haha, you hit your hovel. <laughs> the card that does nothing with Ironmonger. Secluded Shrine. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I think I could have really done this one. This is just kind of a case of an incredible opening. Sea Witch is in a very, like, whoever gets to it first kind of card. And if you get to it that quickly, I mean, what are you going to do? Let's really focus on trashing here. Maybe should have picked up more Sea Witches instead of trashing. I don't think that would have been good. Another Buried Treasure. Okay, I'm gonna discard. I only 
have one coming in here. Let me do this. Man, my Ironmongers have hit actions every single time. That's kind of crazy. There's only four Sea Witches left, but I think I have to do this. And then hope that I can hit a decent number here. I can always buy Copper to Trash Curses if I need. Like, they don't have a great hand here. All the curses are almost in the trash, yeah? Yeah, these are the last two curses in in the game right now. I don't know what I have down there. I think I have another Ironmonger down there. I don't have my Shrine down there, which is the other problem. Probably another Ironmonger, another, sh another Witch, and probably a Buried Treasure. Yeah, there's the Ironmonger and the Buried Treasure. Do I try to hit... My curses here, my, my, my shrine. Or do I just discard these? I think I do this. I think I do. Discard you, squirrel this guy. Um, province. Definitely. Do I want to prepare these curses so they're not in my shuffle next time? Maybe. Is that good? I kind of want to trash them. But I think that's probably just for the best. I think I've got a bit of time. I think there's some long game to play be played here. So I'm not like... Because like, I don't think there's anything emptying too fast here. Mongers aren't that far, neither are Sea Witches. But... If I can, if I can pull this out, I'll be very happy with myself. I don't know if I'll be able to, but it's a lot of sea witches. More shrine. Yeah, I am a lot more trash than them. It is worth noting. They have a lot of coppers still. They still have their hovel and their overgrown estate. certainly something worth considering. <laughs> Buying copper to trash some stuff. Which I guess, okay. Uh, doesn't matter. Oh wow, again. I've got to just do this. Discard you, so shrine out, double buried treasure, triple buried treasure in play, province by, double sea witch coming in. I'm actually looking really good here. Although they've got a quite quite nice hand coming in as well. Like, this is not over. I think they should have probably gone to the trashing sooner. Like, they took a shrine pretty late. They're still squirreling it. They have double province here. Okay. It's a bit scary. Like, I don't expect to... I guess you got to see which turn... I took prepare instead of a... I guess he's prepared to see which. We took Shrine on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of the Necropolis. I just wanna put. I just wanna trash these treasures. Um, this could be silver, trash two curses, and then double province. Or not double province, just regular province. And hope that they don't have double. How do they have in play? Two buried treasures and one sea witch. I'm not super convinced that they can double here. How much do they have in play last turn? Last turn, 
they had three of them. They've only got two of them this turn. And they also had one C, which, okay. Eh, I think this is probably my best shot. We're tied in VP now. They still have their favor. I guess they never had a chance to use it. But they can't province here. They can't single province, I don't think. I don't think they're confident enough to do that. Preparing everything, dashi. Sure. Discard you. I'm gonna keep you on. Actually, no, I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna discard it. This game's gonna be too short for that. Double dashi here. Feels like my best option because you have a bunch of stuff set aside like you've already got 10 coins coming in for sure so like I think I just have to kind of live with it yeah I didn't expect to win this one the moment they opened Sea Witch Buried Treasure Sea Witch is just so nice yeah you got an extra two cards I'll be very surprised if they don't have it here Although, you know, there's not a lot of Econ in your deck other than Buried Treasures. So maybe you don't hit six coins here without Ironmongers hitting or something. Oh, there's, there's an Ironmonger hit. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. I might have this here. But we're going to have to do some dashi dancing. Unless they have 16. Mm, doesn't look like it. 13. Province dashi is not safe. Especially considering I have two buried treasures and a sea witch coming in. If they have 15, I would triple dutchy here. Well, no, I wouldn't even triple dutchy here, would I? This is going to be a very close end game. Prepare. Double dutchy? Do you think I can do triple dutchy? I don't think I can. I doubt it. Yeah. Okay. Um, do I keep this buried treasure on top? Probably since I'm drawing it for next turn and I'm not winning this turn. Yes. Hey, you've got three buried treasures in play. This is just over. Right? Uh, feels pretty over. I think I have to go to estates. Yeah. Like, this is already, yeah, this is already double duchy here, so I can't take a duchy and I can't take a province. Uh, take a hunting grounds. I think I have to squirrel this. I don't think it matters. Repair, double estate. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is just over. Assuming you can hit five more coins here. That's all you need. Which isn't, again, super easy to do with your deck. Okay, well there's two off of your iron monkers. 
Do you have it? You do. Okay. Almost came back there. Almost came back. They went first that time too. Whatever. I think that's one that I'm not complaining about losing. It's just part of the game, and I almost came back on that. Honest, so I, I'm happy with how I played it, in all honesty. Okay. Whoa, this is the board. Um, we've got Hostelry, Groundskeeper, Mastermind, Tools. Does Familiar make any sense here? I don't think so, not with Mask and Rope. Traveling Fair is nice to top deck stuff with to set up Mastermind, particularly with Hostel for Hostelry Horses. You're going to want to go into Groundskeepers, but I'm probably going to open Mask Rope and think later. This is a good draw. It's not a great draw, but it's a... Oh, okay, well, it's a Lestra draw now. Um... I think I'll take a silver. Well... Yeah, unfortunate uh, draw there. See all my estates in one hand. That's okay. Tools. I like tools on this board. It's pretty good. Do I just take an early mastermind? I am low on village, but I think I kind of like it. Alright, well. I think this is a tools. And this might be a hostelry. Definitely would consider it. Hostelry horse. I think I'm going to take one. I just need the village. Uh, Trash of Copper here. Trash of Copper again. Grab another rope, I think. We're going to second tools. I think I'll take one more rope and another mastermind. Have a copper. This is a very straightforward trash thin down build up kind of game. I can see bank being okay here with open tools. What did they mastermind that one time anyways? Didn't they play a mastermind earlier? Did they miss that? Plays a master no, gains a mastermind. Plays a mastermind. Oh, you missed your mastermind turn five. You didn't have anything in hand to mastermind. That's unfortunate. Yeah, hostelry horses is pretty good. I do feel mildly behind still. I'm gonna trash a copper here. I'm gonna play the rope. We're gonna grab. Do I even need the horses? Not really. Yeah, let's take it though. I'll like take another silver here instead. I do need the econ. She masterminding. Masterminding mastermind. Hmm, okay. It's always an interesting play when someone does that. I guess you had no other option. Play this hostelry here. Mask. Take a card, please, thank you. Mastermind. Rope. Um, I definitely.
definitely do want to start doing groundskeeper stuff still soon. I have enough in hand for a bank. Um, the problem is that I need to worry about draw. But maybe it's not that bad. Because, like, horses are going to be my lifeblood in this, in this deck. Yeah, I get tools for tools. Huh. So I guess the options I have here are tools, groundkeeper, mastermind, and bank. And bank and hostelry don't work together. Like I could, I could tools for hostelry and buy a groundskeeper. I could tools for hostelry and buy a tools. I could tools for hostelry and buy a mastermind. Um, yeah, this works, eh? And I think I want a second tools. Give me tools for hostelry here. Grab some horses and another tools. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pass them, probably the hostelry, in all honesty. Right. I think so. The village isn't that good. It's better than yeah. The silver and the mask, unfortunately. This can build up really quickly, fast. You're masterminding a mastermind again. Does that mean all three of them are going to stay on play, or is that just... Does one go out of play from there? I forget how that works. I forget how that works, if I'm being honest. It's an interesting deck they're playing. But I'm wondering if it's going to break. Groundskeeper, yeah. Uh, rope me... Just take the masquerade. See what they give me here. Don't trash. Don't trash. Okay, I've got my horses still in deck, which is a nice little thing to have. very much considering the bank at this point, but I think Groundskeeper's probably better. And then I take like a master I take a mastermind and a hostelry here or something. Off my tools. And I do groundskeeper stuff. Maybe I do a tools in a hot hostelry. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Tools, hostelry, groundskeeper. They can have a horse. Horses are expendable, whatever. Have a horse. Have a copper. Thanks for the hostelry. Have a horse. Ooh. Giving me hostelries instead of the horses. I should have thought about that. I should have thought about that. I should have passed the hostelries into the horse. Oh, you idiot, Evan. You idiot.
That was a mistake. I think triple toolsing for groundskeepers is going to be pretty good here. And then it's a matter of... Yeah, I can maybe get to four this turn. Hmm, I definitely feel behind. But they no longer have masterminds masterminded, right? Actually, yeah, that right? Oh yeah, they have no masterminds coming in next turn. Oh, that could destroy their deck. Okay, wrote me first. Um, I guess playing the groundskeeper is better than nothing. Hostelry, hostelry, hostelry. Horse me, mask. One mask play should do it. I'm okay to not trash my coppers here. Keep that horse in play. Uh, silver, silver, rope. It's gonna be triple groundskeeper. Bank? That's not a crazy thought. I only have so many plus buy also. I guess I have, I have traveling fare, so okay. Yep, yep. I saw it coming, I saw their, their turn. The sound looks awful. Wrote me, don't trash, triple play the groundskeeper, hostelry, groundskeeper. All right, not ideal, but we can live. Give me three more groundskeepers. Um, how many estates can I take here? I think I have a horse down there. It's three buys. If I do one more, that's four buys. I can take Quad Estate here and take a pretty commanding VP lead. Yeah, because I only play groundskeeper. I only triple play groundskeeper that turn. Still not a bad turn, though, I don't think. Have a copper. I think I should play the horse here. I want to get around to my shuffle. The bank is going to be huge to get. We'll see what they can do with their turn here. I think they only have four ground hero plays as well. Yeah. And I have the bank. And I have more tools, I think, as well. Yeah, you can't even buy a triple estate here. Okay, groundskeepers are gone. Okay. Rope me. I don't want to bother trashing that. Horse me, horse me, horse me. Groundskeeper, 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 groundskeeper. Masquerade. Have an estate. trash have an estate I think I've got this don't trash hostelry hostelry mastermind triple tools I can empty out bank I think I can empty out the states pretty easily yeah cool alright I thought I was behind but I totally got that 
the tools they over masterminded they have that rough rough dr dead there with their masterminding masterminding chain they need to keep buying a mastermind every turn without the work I'm pretty sure so far so good about my play I'm feeling good throughout the season in terms of play quality oh this is a board okay five favorites where are my favorites at broker is there any way to gain a crap ton of cards off something to sacrifice them to broker not really eh huh so you're probably not brokering something every turn to give you a new turn. That can't doesn't seem very likely. You've got goat in here. I wonder about opening Pixie Broker. It feels like the best play to me. That extra turn can be huge. Um, villages here. You have fishing which are probably going to take more than Snowy. And then you've got Haunted Woods for draw and Storyteller if you want. Uh -huh. Storyteller Cauldron doesn't matter with Pixie. I guess you have Earth's Gift if you concerned with getting that twice mid-turn. But I was thinking about how sometimes Cauldron works with Storyteller where you can put it in play middle of your turn so when you do gain that third action, the curses activate. But that's not going to happen on this board. Um, I do want to hit a counterfeit also. I wonder if that's better than, like if silver is better than pixie for that reason. I could see that being better. I do like pixie though. Hmm. No, I want, I want to hit five. Let's open silver broker. Oh, they have the, oh they just have five too. Oh, nice, nice, and they hit wisps too. Great, great. <laughs> All right. Um, do I want a bridge? Do I want a fishing village? I think I'll take a bridge. I think I have to trash a state for coins here. Just kind of realize that I'm never going to hit the extra turn. Do I take a Woods here? Woods isn't exactly great attack on this board. It's not really doing much. I think I do take a Woods though. Well, I can take a Fork. No, I'm going to take, take a Fishing Village and try to Cocker. Counterfeit trashing copper is three, so that's I can trash a copper with a broker and still trash and hit five. I feel very very behind. Counterfeit pixies and fantastic open, and hitting wisps turn three. It's ridiculous. Woods, Pixie, Pixie, or Pursue, are you taking, no. Take a Woods myself now. Okay, I collided my two terminals, very nice, very nice. I'm gonna play the Woods here and take another Woods off this, I think. Try to get the Woods cycling and then I can start going into fishing villages and stuff. That feels like the right play. So it turned out the broker was a bad idea, but also I didn't align it with my estates very well. But I can't always just trash it for four, uh, trash a four cost. I mean, it is anti-bridge as well. Yeah, the broker didn't work out. I wanted it to. I did. This is a really unfortunate draw, too. Yeah, it just seems so far ahead at this point. This is a pretty good board for 5-2. I mean, 3-4 isn't bad here, but like, just being able to open counterfeit is so good. Oh, sure, I'll take a bridge. Yeah, cool. 
not complaining there. Thanks, thank you, Haunted Woods Attack. Oh, Stilvers too with your pick. Like I like Pixie. It's on my like list. I normally go for it. I just saw Broker and I was like, oh yeah, I want to hit five. Hmm. Oh, Wisps and Bridge too are also a combo. Oh my god. Yeah, everything everything's going right for them. You're just trashing, thinning down. There goes your goat. You have 12 money. Four buys and a bridge in play. Yeah, this is this is pretty resignable, I think. We'll see. We'll see. Considering how far close I got back in the end game of game one, I'm not like too worried. But I mean, it's a bridge mega turn end game. It's not exactly hard to pull off if you have the right pieces. You never know. More pixie. Fishing village bridge pixie. Really pixie? Over like anything else? I don't like I don't like that. I like pixie, I don't like it that much. Cauldron. <sighs> hmm. Interesting choice with counterfeits and that stuff in my deck. Bridge and Woods me. Of course, I bought a deck my counterfeit too. Worth noting. Um, I don't like the cauldron. I mean, I guess it's plus buy. It's it's non-terminal plus buy, but like so is counterfeit. I guess it's a bit more. Eh. I don't really like it. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I think I'd want another bridge. Yay, son's gift, so important. Oh, these wisps are insane. This broker is hot garbage. It's just the sad truth of it all. Oh no, not a curse. What can I do with counterfeit and goat and broker in my deck? Three actions, okay, I missed my bridge. I guess I just like. I could counterfeit this curse here, or I could counterfeit goat. I could consider that. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright, I've got five money here. Eight money, not eight money. Gosh, um, I need more village. Clearly, <laughs> I just thin down a lot, so I'm probably fine on draw. This might be village, village, bridge. That feels right. Okay, maybe I don't have as much draw as I wanted to. I'm wondering if I can maybe sneak out a pile out here. They get a bit greedy, trying to build to like a province mega turn. Like they're already lowering bridges, fishing villages, and pixies. They might just have enough to take enough green that I don't have to worry. That they don't have to worry about it. But storyteller, when did you get like, a storyteller? There goes your six money. Like yeah, it draws you cards, but like, gosh, I don't, I don't think that's very good. I'm 
not convinced by it, that's for sure. It would actually be fantastic if, if they just, okay. Culture of counterfeit, 10 buys, oh, it's here, never mind. They just have it. <laughs> Three curses, the cauldron just for, yeah, all right. That's uh, sure sure a game of Dominion that we played. Not too impressed on uh, just, I don't know how that turned out. Ah, ah I, I don't know, bridge. Okay, what is this? Landscapeless. Um, so captain, non-duration. So you can play captain as a weaver. Is there a way to get treasures in play for landing party? No. So, um, that's the question. What do you do here? Curse Village, Sanctuary. I mean, Merchant Camp Curse Village is kind of nice. It's not great, but it does turn Merchant Camp into a bazaar, essentially. Dismantle, I'm not too enthused about. I think I like Weaver. Blessed Villages and Galleys, you can gain... Mm, I think I do want to hit... Captain slash Sanctuary as well. This is probably Silver Weaver open. Maybe even Galley Curse Village. Uh, oh, 5 2 again. Opening Sanctuary is pretty nice. Uh, do I want a Merchant Camp? I don't think I do want it yet. Castles, not yet either. Okay, well, this is not a very good. Uh, Not a very good draw as of yet, but I just spamming four costs in my deck isn't going to hurt anybody. Oh, takes humble turn four. I'm not really into that. Give me a. I would love a wisp, thanks, and a sanctuary. Oh, you got flames. Darn, I wanted flames. Again, not very good draws for me here, I don't think. Do I want the blessed here or do I want the galley? I want the blessed. I will love that now. Thank you. I would love a second sanctuary. Oh, they took flames for next turn. Ah, I see. And then I think it's time for... Um, next turn. I'm good. Oh my god, if I don't see my Sanctuary here, I'm be very, very sad. Or any kind of card. Well, I guess I can, I can top deck a Blessed Village here, and at least galley the Blessed Village. Still not very good, but... Exiles a humble castle, sure. I will top deck that blessed. Ugh, didn't see either of my sanctuaries. I know, here they are. I have two sanctuaries, I have the galleys. Next turn it, yeah. They took castles? Castles? Okay, goodbye estate. Goodbye estate. Grab me a galley, grab me a captain. They already have four things in exile. 
because they open. That's crazy. Um, give me another galley. I'm not playing this super scientifically. Definitely going to be considering captaining as a dismantle at some point, just to grab the gold. There's an estate in the trash as well. Oh, they, they got flames gift. Right, right. Reconnecting, disconnecting, reconnecting, disconnecting. Yeah, we'll see what comes up here. Like, ideally, I think I'd like to galley a sanctuary. That would be ideal. Get the double play of it. Like, I have one more than them. Theoretically, I should be trashing more. I mean, obviously, they got it first. Or thinning more. It's not trashing, but whatever. And they took Crumbling and Humble. I have a bunch of cantrips in my deck. A bunch of villages and galleys and... That's why my deck is, you know, 23 cards to their 20, 18, whatever. Uh, sort of doesn't reconnect. Oh. Let's see. Sort of just messaged me saying he doesn't reconnect. Let's we'll see how this works. Waiting on a. Uh, Reconnection. Maybe I need to refresh. What if I refresh? Okay, I'm re I'm refreshing no problem. Hmm. Let's see what they say. Shuffle IT servers have been a bit weird recently, I've seen. See what they say or typing. I can only see the background. Okay. I'm not sure what the thing is. I don't know if we can leave the game and, and reconnect back into the same game, or you're gonna have to play a different one. back. Okay, he's just giving some time. As we have the Maker Swordfish Resign button come up, but I'm not going to. Oh, back. Okay. Alright, he says it's back. We'll see if he starts playing something off his Weaver.
Maybe I should take a cursed village soon. Eh, it's not, a, it's not an incredible of a cursed village by any means. It's not a lot going on here. Oh, lost again. Don't know what's up with the Wi-Fi or the connection for Swordfish. Do not know. Fun times in Shuffle servers. Uh, well, we're sitting here waiting. We can think about Curse Village and if it's good here. I am a big Curse Village fan. I like, I really do like it. I'm just wondering here. Like, I guess it's off this mantle and weaver stuff. You kind of use it to draw. There's not much else to draw here besides galley and captain. And I guess landing party. But, uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, back. Oh, took the blessed village. Play the captain. And I'll be back. Alright, we're gonna exile a copper here. I think. Yeah, I think it's just better. Galley me. I will take that now. And I'll take that now. I don't think I want small. I think I probably just want... Uh, if I want a cursed village, I don't think I really do. Let's take another sanctuary. Take the silver off mountains gift. Okay, swordfish back. Seems to be back. Blessed villages are empty. Galleys are down to three. Weavers are at six. I haven't seen my captain yet. Now there it is. I'm going to do this. Exile on estate. Beautiful. Um, Non-duration, non-command. A non-duration, okay. Um, what do I want to do with this captain? Play a dismantle? Play a weaver? Well, I could dismantle this galley into like silver gold. But I don't think I'm thin enough for that yet. I think I'm just going to do this. And play a... Oh, I don't even have a village to play anymore. Man. Okay, give me a, give me a landing party. Give me some landing parties because I need that draw. Yeah, there's the dismantle. Galley the Sanctuary. I should have done that the opposite way, but... I could do silver into like a state gold here. I should have just... Man, why am I so bad at this? Grab me... Another landing party. I 
next helicopter grab small here. Hey, look, it's all my good cards. Not all of them, obviously. But. Got a weaver. Yeah, that was played too fast by me. I should have just slowed down there and thought about it. Yeah. Um. Doesn't really matter what I top deck. Weaver me, put that landing party in my deck. Cool. I'm gonna dismantle you into a, an estate. And more estates and more estates because I am scared of the game ending. And turns out castles might have been not that anyway, not been not that bad anyways. We're six Weaver plays away from five Weaver plays from the game ending. It's a bit scary. And of course my landing parties have not come to fruition with playing a treasure because Captain and Galley are both anti-landing party and they're both better cards than landing party. But this is not over. It takes opulent. Yeah. Give me a landing party. Yeah, like the sanctuary here. Landing party. Um. Okay. We're gonna take you into. Can I win here? I might be able to win here. I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna tr trigger the shuffle first. I want. I want to see everything I possibly can. One money away. Oh god. Oh god. Really? One money away from Royal Galley Estate pile out off of Sprawling Castle. That would have been so good. Darn. Darn. So close indeed. Maybe I could have played my sanctuary first before the castle to see if I had it. Maybe that's the play there instead? Yeah. I'm assuming they have it, yeah. Yeah, this is over. Oh, bah, pa 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 pa. Oh, grand, grand Castle. Just for the fun of it. Alright, they're up 3 1. Not a great. Uh, Not a great start, although I don't think I've... Well, that was that last one. I, I think it's probably my worst game of the match so far. The first three I don't feel bad about, really. I feel really good about the game I won. Oh my, what is this? Recruiter, Cathedral, Keep. Oh god. There's no loot here. What's counterfeit though? Cathedral. Do I take the exorcist? 
and four do I open Kath Silver? I think Cathedral Silver is better. What's the Ferryman card? Oh, it's the Augurs. Does that? I forget. Does, can can you rotate piles? I think that works. I think that works. Yeah. Okay, so we have the same open here. Um, do I want a counterfeit or do I want ferryman herb gatherer or a recruiter? I, I I'm asking recruiter, but like. I'm not convinced by it. I definitely do need to keep things going in my deck, and I can do that through Trader. Plus Buy is here, and Nomads and Counterfeit as well. Monument doesn't feel very good to me. I guess if you're hitting four, I don't know. I, think a, I don't know. Ferryman, Ferryman Herb Catherine certainly seems intriguing to me. Maybe it's not good. Maybe this is just Counterfeit, Slim Down. I am worried about getting over thinned, but I, there's plus, there's gains here. There's nomads for plus buy, yeah, and so is counterfeit. Okay, they trigger their shuffle. What do I take here? Is the question. I took gold. I don't think I really like that. Try taking a stables here. Maybe a Cap City is better. I definitely do want a trader at some point. I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of I have, I'm gonna have treasures. I'm gonna have silvery. Keep is here. Let me two stables. I'm gonna get rid of Micropolis here and grab a. F I, I think I. Hmm. I think I have to go trader. Let's take a trader. Let's go for it. I don't think Monument's that good here. We're doing the gold thing. I'm not really convinced by that either. They don't even have a counterfeit. Hmm. Let's take another stables. Prince. Oh. Um, if I trash this silver, I don't want to. I don't want to prince anything. Who am I kidding? If I trash silver into silvers here, I just want a nomads really. Oh wait, hold on, I had an extra buy there. You can take a silver on top of it. Um, I guess I'll take a Cap City next. I don't like the Prince play here. Right? Yeah, no, I don't think I do. I could trade our nomads here for some silvers and grab like, I have seven, so I could grab like nomads stables. playing this weird silver engine that might work. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know if I like the monument stuff. Okay, I don't have my counterfeit. I didn't draw it. So I'm going to need to do this. I 
could print some monument or something like they're doing. I don't think it's that good. I think it's keeping me up with their speed. Maybe it's... Maybe I do need a village and then it's like Cap City Stables here. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to have to trash the silver here. Yeah, they're, they've got a super thin deck. Another prince? That's crazy. No, I'm just going to discard these. Okay. I guess the counterfeit kind of sucks now, huh? Let's just take some silvers. It is 5 VP, but whatever. Grab me, grab me a gold. Trash is a silver. They're gonna, well, I think they're gonna over thin here. What are you, are you double printing? You've got five cards in deck plus the one you. That's your silver. That's your trader. I don't. I don't know. Do I want more silvers? I don't think I do. I think I just want province here. Note to self: No months of my only plus buy. So I should probably do want to get counterfeits again. Yeah, okay. Your deck is sure doing something. Goodbye, silver. Double province here. None of us have coppers. I'm one gold behind, and none of us have counterfeits. So you can always take that for an easy 5 VP if you're looking to end the game. Yeah, there's the counterfeit play. Goodbye, silver. Okay, I'm actually not going to use that. Okay. I'm just going to take a province here. Another province. Okay. Bottom deck my nomads here. Um, this could be province copper. I kind of like that. Double printing the monument is, some, is, is an interesting play on this board. This is more like, oh, and you got a third prince? I think this might be trash the trader by a province here. You've already got counterfeit and gold for keep points. All I need to do is hit province next turn. I think that's very possible. I mean, they're going to get 3 VP plus the 6 coins. I still think I need to do this. Just hope that I don't get screwed over here by a 14 VP swing. Province, and you can't catch me on silvers, so that's for sure. So it's got to be copper, which is a. If you guess if you take. Yeah, I guess if you take two coppers here, that's a 10 point swing. And then a province. 
But do you have enough buys for that? I don't think you do. Oh, maybe you have a counterfeit? Maybe you have a counterfeit. If you drew your counterfeit, you might have this. looking for it. They have three buys. Copper Copper Province I think wins here. Will they recognize that the last copper will give them enough? Or are they going to try like... Yeah, yeah, damn, damn it! That sucks. I... Maybe should have seen that? I don't know. I don't think the prince's monument. I don't think princing monument was the right play on their end at all. I think that was weird. My trader deck, I don't think was optimal either, though. I think it was an interesting strategy on my part. I think it was probably the right strategy to do trader stuff. Oh, I have the five two here, and I can't get anything on two. Cool. <sighs> what is this supposed to be on five? What even is this board? Uh, scepter relic. Scepter Woods is your kind of like your draw here, I guess. Um, there's no trashing here except for Forager. I guess we'll take a Woods. Tide Pools. Oh, I guess you could. Owl? Is that the idea? I guess. Sea chart? Hmm. I don't know if I believe in all this. Maybe another woods here. I think I just want to play wood scepter, forager, and maybe a pillage would be pretty good. I don't know. There's no village here. So Owl wasn't going to do you much good. Is there a copper in the trash now? There sure is. Um, do I want a seat chart? I think I just want a silver. Both my woods bottom decked. Oh, come on. Really? <sighs> Relic, yeah. Both my woods bottom decked. God damn it. That's so annoying. Well, at least I'll be able to top deck my woods here. That's actually really nice. Another yeah, silver. I will I do want a relic next, that's for sure. And then probably scepters. The sea chart doesn't feel very good to me at all. Alrighty. Um, give me a relic. Again, not a really great draw there. Seven is really awkward of a number. Yep, and we're just gonna go back and forth with this for a second. Don't like the tide pools on their end. Thought it was bad. The goal is maybe fine. I don't know. I didn't get my haunted woods in play. Oh my god. Go to tide pools. Yeah. Gold 
copper. I guess you're doing it for forager food. Silver in the trash. Foragers are getting powered up. Man, their deck is so slim compared to mine. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm getting 5 1 tier. This sucks. I felt so good about the first three games of this match. And these last three have not been good. Okay. Oh, true, I can owl the scepter if I want, but I'm not going to. I'm going to just play them normally, because I'm pretty sure these stay out, yeah. Why, yes, I will take nine cards next turn. Thank you. probably just end up not buying coppers here and like not worrying about having a dead card and forager in my deck unless they overpower them themselves yeah more gold I don't I'm not a fan woods woods I'll take Province Gold here. Ooh, Sea Chart Scepter, Haunted Woods. That's a fun little combo. I've got five cards coming in here. I really hope I see my Haunted Woods. If I don't, I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> Okay. Do I trash the silver? I don't think so. I think I have to take province here. Although I would like another scepter just to keep the balance going. Do I do Scepter Sea Chart or do I do Province here? Yeah, I'm gonna top deck those unfortunately, but what you gonna do? I don't think I'm winning the short game, so I'm happy to play the long game. It's just two games of being outclassed, two games of being outdrawed, and here we are, four one down, probably five one. That one shuffle where I had the two hundred woods collide was br absolutely brutal. At the bottom, it was just yeah. All right, goodbye, copper. Haunted Woods me. Boop. Play you. Play you. Probably need one more gold to hit double next turn. 
Uh, maybe I don't want gold. I want 13. Uh, okay, I guess I can just double province. No, I can't double province here. Take, a, take a, another scepter, I guess. It's better than most things. Try to maybe triple this turn. I don't know. I can't see. They're probably going to double here at least. Oh boy. Yeah, getting 5 1 to start the season isn't very good. bunch of haunted woods and stuff. My plan is to trash my trash my haunted woods this turn for whatever. If I can if I can win this turn. I don't know if I can. They're probably looking for a win right now. Even even double province I think is pretty safe. They need to trash as a relic. Interesting. Interesting. I reckon always scepter foragers. Need be. Trash the copper. Play some woods. Why are you playing your woods? Are you not winning here? Do you not have 16 money? Okay, now you do. Hmm. So they double province here. I need province for Dutchie's estate. How much does that cost? 20, 30? Exactly 30. Yes. So there's a relic in the trash. Um, if I trash gold, I trash scepter, and then I scepter them twice, and I trash woods in a C chart. Where does that get me? Gold gets me four, scepter gets me five, the next two also get me five, plus 19. The three silvers in my hand picks me up to 25. The relic gets me to 27. How many cards do I have in my deck? Do I, can I gardens? Three, four, six, seven, 10, 11, 12, 15, 17. So I have one VP gardens, that's not very good. course the plan is to trash two things I can maybe get up to 20 the two VP gardens I don't think that's better than most um, so th four forager plays one of them's four coins that's 19 money and then I have yeah the relic and the silvers for 18 to 27 is there a better line than that Like if I just trash the sept the seat chart in the haunted wood for three coins each, that's six plus six is twelve, fifteen, seventeen. Trashing province isn't gonna do anything good. What are the chances they're not hitting province next turn? I think I kind of have to rely on it, right? Just like take a crap ton of duchies here. I 
it's got to be the way. Uh, I don't think I have it. Right, four money for trashing gold, five money for trashing the scepter. It's nine. Another ten from Haunted Wood Sea Chart. Nineteen. No, it's not there. Twenty-seven. And I need province, four duchies, four duchies is twenty money, twenty-eight, thirty. If I took gardens instead of duchies, does that make any sense? I don't think so. Okay, so I have to go for duchies instead. And hopefully they don't hit province. Which means not leveling up the foragers at all. Okay. I'm gonna forager a forager here. We're gonna play some haunted woods. Grab three duchies. And probably lose. Highly doubt that I'm going to they're thinking, okay, yeah, no, they just have it. Cool. Alright. 5-1 for them. Not not a good start. Really not a good start here, unfortunately. They played really well. Can't can't fault them for that. They're they're um they're good at what they do. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully the rest of the season looks a bit more up than this does to start.